Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we're gonna do this very easy stitch. I think this stitch is nice to do a blanket, a cardigan. I'm sure you can find some projects to do with this stitch. I'm gonna use 3.0 millimeter crochet hook. This stitch works with multiples of 5 plus 4 more. So I have here 25 chains and I'm gonna chain 4 more chains. So 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one. Now we're gonna skip the first three chains one two three and into the fourth chain from the hook we're gonna do a double crochet and we're gonna put one more double crochet into that fourth uh, chain. So we have two double crochet and the chain. Now we're gonna chain one we're gonna skip the next four chains one two three four and into the fifth chain we're gonna do four double crochet so one go back again into that same chain and do three more double crochet in total you should have four so we have four double crochets chain one and again, we're going to skip the next four chains, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, we're going to place in there four double crochets. And this is going to be this row, the way we do it now, skip four and into the fifth, you're going to place in there four double crochets. Chain one, skip the next four chains and into the fifth, four double crochets. And the fourth one, chain one, again, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth chain, four double crochets. I think this stitch is nice to make a spring or summer baby blanket. I will suggest you use uh, at least half of number bigger than uh, the crochet hook than the yarn recommends. Yeah. Chain one. One, two, three, four. We're gonna skip four chains and into the fifth one we're gonna do three double crochets. If you feel comfortable you can put four double crochet in the beginning and the end of the row. But with uh, with four double crochet at the end and four double crochet, well three double crochet and the chain will be four. It's, it's a little bit uh, well, kind of curly at the edge. Yeah. If you like that, then put four double crochet yeah, in the beginning and the end. We're going to chain two, turn your work, and now into the first stitch here, from where the chain is coming, we're going to place in there two double crochets. So this is how you're going to start. If you want, you can put three double crochets. So in total you're gonna have three double crochet and the chain will make it four. Yeah. Now we're gonna move, well we're gonna chain one after we do those two double crochets. We're gonna move to the next uh, cluster which are four double crochet in which we're gonna go between the first and the second. We're gonna, let's see, we're gonna do a double crochet The second double crochet, we're going to do a front post double crochet. The third double crochet, front post double crochet. And between the third and the fourth, in this space, we're going to go in there and do a double crochet. Chain one, and we move to the next cluster of double crochets. We're gonna go between the first and the second into that space and do a double crochet. The second double crochet, we're gonna do a front post double crochet. And the third one also a front post. So you will have in the middle 
the second and the third you're gonna do a front post and in this space between the third and the fourth right here we're gonna do a double crochet it's gonna look like this we're gonna chain one and we're gonna repeat move to the next cluster and into that space between the first and the second double crochet you're gonna do a double crochet then the second and the third we're gonna do front post double crochet go for the third one front post double crochet and in this space between the third and the fourth we're gonna do a double crochet chain one and we're gonna repeat so like I said this stitch has two rows repeat you might not like the the front post or the back post but if you like this uh, this stitch you're gonna work something with this chain one and now at the end here we're gonna go to the last stitch not the chain the stitch yeah? so we have two double crochets so you're gonna skip this and into the second double crochet in there you're gonna do three double crochets I'm gonna chain two. Now turn your work. So this is the back of the work. It's gonna look like this. And like I said, the way we start this, we're gonna go to the first stitch right there, and we're gonna place in there two double crochets. In the sample that I did, the, the thumbnail, <coughs> I have four in total so three double crochet and the chain so it's a little bit uh, curly at the edge so if you don't like that then just put uh, only two double crochet with a chain three yeah so now I'm gonna move to the first cluster and we're gonna repeat but this time we're gonna do back post yeah so between the first and the second into that space we're gonna do a double crochet yeah? I'm gonna do a double crochet and now we're going to do the second and the third back post. So we're going to go behind like that. And I'm going to do a back post double crochet. Then the third back post. And the space between the third and the fourth, right there, through that space, you're going to do a double crochet. Chain one. Then you're going to repeat. The next two will be back post. And the space in there between the third and the fourth, you're gonna do a double crochet, chain one. So between the first and the second, in that space, double crochet. Then the next two will be back post, double crochet. So this is the second and this is the third and now in this space right there a double crochet chain one and we're gonna repeat it's a very easy stitch I think if you are to make a baby blanket with this uh, use uh, a soft yarn because working with the front post and back post it has a tendency to be a little bit rigid and stern the material so if you work with uh, just work with a, a soft yarn chain one and at the end here like I said we skip the first double crochet and into the second we're gonna place in there three double crochets chain two I think I forgot to chain one here at the in the beginning after we did this two double crochet I think I forgot to chain one so don't forget to chain one here after you do you chain two and you do two double crochets in that first stitch after you do that chain one yeah? because you can see I didn't chain one here I forgot turn your work and now we're gonna repeat the second uh, well second row with the um, front post double crochet <coughs> so in here the first stitch we're gonna do two double crochets in there 
and the second so now chain one and now we have the space between the first and the second double crochet and now we have the front post the next the second double crochet well it's the front post back post from the previous row and the space between the third and the fourth double crochet chain one and we're going to move to the next cluster so in that space double crochet then the next two will be front post double crochet I think this is nice to, to do a, a shawl or a rectangle shawl something like that wrap and you move to the next and so on it's a very easy stitch it goes really fast it might be a little bit not uh, so well some discomfort when you do the the next uh, next row with the back post a little bit because they're so close to each other but the front post the row with the front post goes really fast so in that space there we do a double crochet chain one and at the end here we want to skip the first double crochet and into the second through the through the stitch we're gonna place in there three double crochets you can alternate colors you can work this with very good yarn it's up to you so you're gonna chain two turn your work and you're gonna repeat now the row with the back post so into the first stitch you're gonna do two double crochet chain one then you're gonna move to the first cluster and the space between the first and the second right here you're gonna do a double crochet then the next are two back posts and the space between the third and the fourth in there you're gonna do a double crochet and so on yeah. it's a very easy stitch and I think this one looks with any yarn size looks really nice so I uh, um, oh I have it here I thought I forgot to bring the the sample so this one as you can see here, I have four, so the chain and one, two, three double crochets, yeah. As you can see, it's a little bit fluffy, yeah, it's kind of weird here. So if you don't want like this, then chain three. As you can see, this is not going to uh, get uh, fluffy, yeah, kind of curly. But then, so this one, I think, works really nice with any yarn size. So this is the, the back work, the back side, and this is the front. It's really nice. So you see, it's a little bit uh, curly here. So if you want to, to make this for a blanket or a wrap, or I'm sure you can find something. So this is the, the back side. Well, you can see it's a little bit uh, curly. I put four here. But you can put only three. And at the end here, I put in each in each stitch I did how do you say uh, single crochet. So after you finish, let's say you want to close for those of you that you don't know, you beginners. So you want to, to close this, you're gonna chain one only. Yeah. You're gonna turn your work, and in the first stitch here, you're gonna do a single crochet. Next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet so in this one chain space you're gonna go in that space and do also a single crochet so the next you have four stitches one two three four so in each one you're gonna do single crochet and the one chain space between the clusters you're gonna go in that space and do a single crochet and you do like this until you finish the row and at the end you're gonna also do let's say you do all these uh, and then the last here at the end single crochet single crochet and into this two chain space the second chain you're gonna do a single crochet yeah. so this is the the stitch 
when you want to finish the, the work and want to close it, you can close it like this. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for uh, for watching. Hope you enjoy this uh, this stitch. You might give a try to this stitch. Find something to do. Well, have a good day. Bye bye.